welcome back to my channel. I'm James. Today I've got another exciting new episode where we're going to be deep diving into eight big movies on 4K Ultra HD and I'm going to be diving into these doing my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons on some of these and going through and sharing all of my testing data letting you know the quality of each of these how they stack up versus previous Blu-ray releases and if any of these are worth buying and adding to your collection. Now, these were all sent to me early for review. Most of these were from Vinegar Syndrome and Lionsgate Home Entertainment. I do appreciate when the studios reach out to me and send these to me early for review, but as most of you know that have followed me for a while, that never changes my testing data or my review scores on the quality of each of these releases and if they are worth adding to your collection or if they're must-buys or if you should skip some of them. Now I'm going to dive into all these today and let you know the quality of each and every one of these and it's very important that if you decide to buy any of these 4k releases after you get done watching this review and hearing my review score, as always I've posted the direct Amazon sale links as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. Those links down there for these releases never cost you a penny extra but they do help me to continue creating exclusive content just like you're gonna watch today here in this video. All these videos take me a ton of time and a ton of work to test, analyze, and to pull all of the native images off of the 4K disc and off of the Blu-rays to show you side by side. So if you enjoy these videos and these videos have helped you out, always use those direct Amazon sale links I posted right down there below. Now to start off with here, we're gonna start off with the 2014 Shout Factory Blu-ray release of Southern Comfort. Now the previous Blu-ray release was very dull, drab, muted, and a soft presentation. Every single Blu-ray transfer of Southern Comfort that's ever been released has always had an incorrect color grading and has always had very grayed out, dull skin tones that everybody kind of looked lifeless and kind of dead in it. Overall, the previous Blu-ray release, it's the best that ever existed until this point, but it's always just not been an amazing Blu-ray transfer. Now for Walter Hill's Southern Comfort from 1981, Vinegar Syndrome went back and did a brand new 4K restoration of the 35mm Interpositive. And they did a brand new HDR10 Master and Color Grading, and this is a native 4K 2160p. I can tell you as you're noticing in those native image comparisons up above, it's a night and day difference. Skin tones look lifelike for once, there is natural colors that come through. Overall, the brand new HDR10 Master they did brings much needed life and vibrancy to the image. Without going into any color bleed, it is a very nice and good looking image compared to all the previous Blu-ray transfers that like I said, were very dull, muted, skin tones were grayed out, all of that's gone on this very nice 4K image. Now on this native 4K image, it also has very nice film grain. Though I will say there were some very slight inconsistencies and fluctuations, but when I say slight, they are very slight. Most people are probably never going to notice them. And the 4K image has very nice depth and detail in the image, far surpassing the very soft previous Blu-ray transfers. Overall, as you're noticing in those comparisons up above, it's a very surprising and enjoyable 4K release. Now for Southern Comfort's audio, we do get an English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 mix. It's very clean and clear, and I can say that the audio mix on this is a better sounding than it was on the previous Blu-ray because all of the audio distortions that were present on the previous Blu-ray where it had audio distortions, fluctuations, those are all gone and fixed on this. And I didn't have any issues with audio distortions or fluctuations at all. It's a very clean and clear audio mix and adds to the enjoyability of this 4K release. Now showing what you get in this, you do get this nice outer artwork. It does say Southern Comfort on the side. Then it talks about it on the back here about the restoration. You do get a 4K and a Blu-ray in here. I did exclusively test both of them. Both the 4K and the Blu-ray disc in this set are 100% region free. You won't have any issues playing them anywhere worldwide. You do get a ton of special features. So literally compared to the previous Blu-ray release, this one has a massive amount of special features that blew away with the image and audio the previous Blu-ray release in every single category. Now, showing what you get inside, I do love how Vinegar Syndrome puts on unique cover artwork on each and every disc. You do get a booklet inside which talks about the film, the restoration, the story behind it. There's a lot of like behind the scenes hidden story elements, things that like the government basically wanted changed in it. Very unique thing if you read the history of this film. But you do get this booklet inside, it's very nice. 
And then this is your Blu-ray disc. As I did say, both discs in here are 100% region free. If you're deciding to buy this or import this outside of the US or you want to buy it in the US, that direct Amazon sale link I've put right down there below. Now in the booklet, it has essays and pictures and behind the scenes and I really enjoyed it. It's a very nice booklet and I do like that Vinegar Syndrome is including these in their releases because to me they add to the collectability and the enjoyable factor of having this in your collection and having a physical booklet to read about the movie. I always really enjoy stuff like this. Now it does come with reversible artwork, so if you wanna switch it around, you do get two artwork options on it, which I really like that added touch. Talking about the film itself, it's more or less one of these, a military survival. Uh, military exercise going on basically in the South and they're trying to survive against unknown forces that are shooting at them, killing them. The hard thing is there's a big twist. Their guns that the military has didn't have any real bullets. They're just squibs. Basically, they make the sound, but there's no actual bullet in it. Um, that's what they're carrying in their guns. So they can't shoot back. They're trying to survive. It's a very intense and enjoyable thriller, and it's really a survival thriller. I will say that the ending is one of those that gets you every time and you say, man, that was really good. The last like 20 minutes of the film really build to a big crescendo and you're like, who's going to survive? Who's not? Great film. I think Walter Hill did a phenomenal job with this film, and it is one of those I really enjoy. Now, I did dive in and test out the rough average bitrate as well. This has a high, healthy, and strong rough average bitrate of 75 megabits per second. Very nice job by Vinegar Syndrome. They really stepped it up, provided a very nice and a very massive improvement over all of the previous Blu-ray transfers. Now getting to my review score. For Southern Comfort on 4K Ultra HD, this gets a terrific 9.2. This is a must buy, you need to buy, add to your collection. I put the direct Amazon sale link right down below if you decide you're gonna buy and add this to your collection now. But this was really one that did surprise me how massive of an improvement in every single area visual, audio, special features, the booklet in here, far surpassed every previous Blu-ray transfer, both audio, visual, and all the extras you get in this set, which is what I'm looking for. What a great release by Vinegar Syndrome, a terrific 9.2 review score. Again, it's a must buy. You need to have this in your collection if you have not experienced this Walter Hill film. I previously reviewed here just recently, The Warriors on 4K. If you haven't checked out that review, it's available right now here on my channel. That's another Walter Hill film, though I will say I enjoy Southern Comfort much more than even The Warriors. I like The Warriors, but I will say there's something about this gritty survival film that really is grounded, and you can imagine it happening in the South and just them trying to survive against these forces that I don't want to give away, but it's really one of those creepy elements that kind of gets to you and you're like, wow, like you can imagine something like this happening. And it's a well done film, holds up amazingly well today, and this is the best way to ever experience this film on home video. An absolutely stellar job by Vinegar Syndrome. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down there and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this early or exclusive content that you're only gonna find to watch here on my YouTube channel. Next up, we have the 1962, The Horrible Dr. Hitchcock. This is one of those horror thrillers, mysteries that I've always really enjoyed. It has got a great, like, I don't know, presence, I would say, where it really draws you into the film, the colors, the cinematography, the way the film's done. It's got so many great creepy elements in it, but it's a really good classic film. Now for this 4K release, it is a native 4K and it's created from a brand new 4K restoration of the original camera negative. And that's for both the 87 minute Italian cut feature presentation and the 76 minute American cut feature presentation. They are both included on this 4K release. They both got brand new HDR10 masters as well. And I can tell you this has brilliant whites, inky blacks, no black crush. Though I will warn you, the film is intentionally dark in numerous areas. No matter whether you have any of the previous Blu-ray releases, you will notice that in any of those previous Blu-ray releases, they have very dark scenes. Thankfully on this, it never goes into the black crush area with the new grading that they did. I will say that HDR10 does bring it to a new life. You do notice brilliant whites coming through, much more vibrancy in the image. 
as well as skin tones and everything else look much better than some of the recent Blu-ray releases that I own. I will tell you I've owned several different Blu-ray releases. I'm comparing it to one of the more recent ones I own. And I will tell you there is a noticeable improvement in both depth in the image, details in the image, though there is one thing that did stand out a little bit more on this 4K release than what I noticed on my previous Blu-ray release that I recently got. For example, on this you do notice more image fluctuations in the film grain. Now that can be directly a cause of when you increase the HDR and things like that and bring it that way and do a new brand new restoration, it can sometimes bring more of that film grain more evident and you can notice more of it because of the new scan and restoration. It is more detailed so it brings more of that film grain to life. You do notice it more evidently on this than on the previous Blu-ray release, but it's not distracting because on the Blu-ray you can notice it, it's just that you do notice it heavier on this, where I will say overall the depth and detail in the image is drastically more noticeable than the previous Blu-ray release. Now audio-wise we get both an English and Italian LPCM mono mix. I will tell you it sounds good, but there is limitations. No matter what version of this I have ever owned on home video, they have all had slight improvements, but they have all contained distortions, slight audio lag sometimes because sometimes obviously you have the dubbing and then things like that. And there is instances of where it actually has duplicate audio where you will notice kind of almost an echo in some of the scenes based on how they actually created the audio mixes originally for this film. It's not something done wrong if you've had the previous Blu-ray releases or you've had this release, you will notice those inconsistencies have always been there. There is still strong hissing and clicks that you will notice as well as audio anomalies that are just present on it because of the film of its time, how it was handled, how it was taken care of, how it was created, and then how they made the different audio mixes as well caused issues with those anomalies and they're just present and will always be present unless they were to spend millions and millions to try to get rid of every single thing. That's just the instance of what this film is because it's a cult classic mystery horror film from 1962 and I truly believe this is the best we're ever going to see this film in any state. Um, it is a better presentation than any of the previous Blu-rays. I do enjoy it, but again, it's one of those that's not as big as like Alfred Hitchcock's films or some of those other classic films. So that's where it surprised me that I even got a 4K release in the first place. Now, I'll show you what you get in this. This is your outside artwork. On the side, it says the horrible Dr. Hitchcock, Paramount's logo. Talks about the restorations, how it includes both films in here. And it obviously talks about a massive amount of special features that are included in this. I did really enjoy them and I do think that they add to kind of learning more about the film and what makes it such a unique experience. Now inside you get your Blu-ray and your 4K Ultra HD disc. Your 4K disc is 100% region free. You won't have any issues playing it anywhere worldwide. Now this release does have reversible artwork as well. Another nice touch by Vinegar Syndrome including reversible artwork depending on which one you want. You can switch it around. I always like those added touches. Now I did dive into and test the rough average bitrate. This gets a healthy and strong rough average bitrate of 71 megabits per second. Now this film personally for me is kind of an underrated horror film that I think a lot of people have not experienced and I do like it as a classic horror film. I still enjoy it very much to this day and this is the best presentation I've ever seen it provided in. Now getting to my review score for the horrible Dr. Hitchcock this gets a good 8.0. That gives you a representation of the image and sound quality. It's the best this has ever looked on home video and this 4K release comes recommended by me. It's just review score wise as always I'm going to be upfront and honest with you so you understand how the image and sound compares to hundreds of other 4Ks I've tested and reviewed over the last many years I've been doing this professionally. And that's where what I do on here is always so important to stick to what the quality is regardless of my love for a film. I'm always going to share honestly what the visual and audio qualities on this are. It's still a good release. If you've seen this before on any home video release, you'll know the issues that are present with the original film itself with how it was filmed, stored, and all the issues with obviously how it looks. This is the best of any releases, any of them on Blu-ray that I've ever owned. This is the one you're going to want to own. 
This does come recommended by me. Just go into it understanding those limitations of the original elements. That is why it gets an 8.0 because visual and sound quality, there are numerous things on it, clicks, hisses, things like that, like I was talking about, fluctuations, blots, splotches, that just are inherent from how damaged the original film was. If you wanted to buy this or pick this up, I put the direct Amazon sale link right down there below. Let me know in the comment section below, have you seen any of these films? Have you seen the Dr. Horrible Hitchcock before on home video? Are you excited for this 4K release now knowing this is the best version of it that's ever been released and that I truly believe we're ever gonna get? This is one of those I was excited for because I love classic films. Make sure to start that conversation down there below and let me know what of these reviews here in this video you're excited for and that you're excited to pick up. Next up we have Existence. This is a David Cronenberg film and I will tell you this is one of those films I really enjoy. I went to see it originally in theaters back in 1999 and it's one of those films that it's an acquired taste for some folks but it's a sci-fi it's got some horror elements, but it's mostly just a sci-fi, mystery, psychological thriller where you're trying to figure out what's going on, are they in the real world, are they not, what's happening, are they in a game? There's so many elements of it that play with your mind so well, I've always really enjoyed it. Now I will tell you, some people do think it has some gross elements that apply to David Cronenberg's films. He likes to kind of do some gross out scenes. There are some in this that my wife said, oh, that's a little gross, and I had to explain it to her, but as far as it goes to me, I've always loved those elements of the film. I think it blends well together. It's kind of a different world outside of like The Matrix, The 13th Floor, which were all around the same time. This is going down a different route, more the psychological thriller mystery of sci-fi elements. I enjoyed the elements of this film. I think the supporting cast is wonderful in it. I think Jude Law did a great job in this film. You really feel connected to his character. And I do think it builds toward the end. You want to watch it again. Severely misunderstood film, probably one of the most misunderstood David Cronenberg films. When it originally came out in theaters, it was panned by critics that just didn't understand it and didn't give it a chance. I have a soft spot in my heart and I have always loved this film. I was thrilled when Vinegar Syndrome announced they were doing a brand new 4K restoration of its 35mm interpositive, and they did a brand new HDR10 color grading and master. I can tell you this has had a horrible release history on Blu-ray. As you're noticing in those native images up above, they were over sharpened in some areas, then very soft in other areas, very digital, blocky. Colors were horrendous on it. Overall, you'd have banding, blocking, digital noise. The Blu-ray had so many issues. And it didn't matter which Blu-ray release I have, I've owned all of them. The Miramax one and the 101 Films, which is the one I'm comparing to in this video. The 101 Films was a slight upgrade over the Miramax, but the Miramax was horrendous. I didn't even want to show you that one. It was like no comparison. That was just trash. 101 Films worked on it. It did look better but it still was never amazing. Colors were way off on it. The 101 films was just still dull and muted and color wise. And overall, just not an amazing Blu-ray transfer. On this one, it gets a brand new restoration and is a native 4K 2160p. As you're noticing those images up above, it is a night and day improvement. Depth and detail is phenomenal on this. I was shocked at how good it looks. It does have film grain from beginning to end of the film. They didn't DNR or take it away at all. Thankfully, there's no over sharpening on this. It has a very natural and filmic look from beginning to end and looks amazing on this 4K release. With the film grain though, you will notice some very, very slight inconsistencies and waves in the film grain, but they are very slight and very brief and probably a large percentage of people won't notice it, but as always, I'll share all of my testing data and results in every one of these reviews. Audio-wise, we get an English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, and it's a very good, very clean and clear audio mix. It has very good range, it has some use of the LFV very nicely. Overall, very impressive audio mix and very impressive visual quality that annihilates the previous Blu-ray releases, every single one of them. Like I said, the Miramax one, I don't even want to talk about. That was just probably one of the top 10 worst Blu-ray transfers of all time. 101 Films stepped it up. It does look better from 101 Films, but still doesn't come anywhere close 
to how amazing of a job they did with this brand new 4K restoration. It's really a revelation to see. If you've watched Existence on any of the previous home video releases, and then you pop in this amazing 4K release, you're really like just sitting there like, wow, your eyes popping out of your head almost saying, wow, I can't believe how much of this film I've missed, the details. And you know, because they did a lot of the practical effects in this film where like, you know, obviously the ports in their backs are practical effects and obviously all the ports where they have all the like video games and the goo and things like that, it looks really cool. But on the previous home video releases, it was just so poor looking. You really couldn't see the details in the practical effects. Thankfully on this 4K, because there's such great depth and detail, you can actually see the details in those practical effects, which shine through great on this, and really adds to the kind of like creepy sci-fi mystery vibe that this film has, and really added to the experience that I was really surprised. I felt like I was watching this for the first time all over again. Now, show what you get in this, you do get really nice new cover artwork, obviously with the gun. On the side it says Existence and Paramount's logo talks about it now it does contain the 97 minute feature presentation completely restored talks about obviously all the special features there is a massive buttload of special features on this that annihilate the previous blu-ray releases as well really enjoyed those because there's some really great ones on here there's even audio commentaries that are really enjoyable that talk about things i didn't realize about the film itself now when you get inside here you do get a blu-ray and a 4k disc now i did test both of them and i will share the Blu-ray is partially region free. The 4K is 100% region free. I did have some slight issues getting it to play on my multi-region player without having to do the remote trick where I would press to get to the menu. So it wasn't fully region locked in the sense of that you couldn't get past it. But I will say the 4K is 100% region free. So sharing that with all of you, if you are wanting to import this or buy this outside of the US, depending on your player, that's what you're going to have with the Blu-ray disc. 4K discs 100% region free. Now you do get reversible artwork on this 4K release as well, so a really nice added touch getting to choose whichever artwork you want as well. Now I did dive into the rough average bit rate and test that for all of you. This does have an extremely high, extremely healthy, and strong rough average bit rate of 83 megabits per second. Amazing job they did with the rough average bitrate on this 4K release, which lends to the added depth, the detail, the stability in the image, and the overall beautiful 4K transfer that we get to experience on this amazing 4K release. Now, getting to my review score for Existence on 4K Ultra HD, this gets an excellent 9.4 and is a must buy. You need to buy and add to your collection. Absolutely excellent job by Vinegar Syndrome restoring this film and bringing it to 4K Ultra HD with brand new life that really makes it a stellar experience and you feel like you're watching it for the first time and seeing so many things with the practical effects in this that you never saw before. In every single area, this annihilates and blows away every single previous Blu-ray transfer. If you only a one one films, this is a big upgrade over that. If you own any of the Miramax Blu-rays before that, I mean, those are such turds that honestly, you, you can do anything better than those turds. So that's where I said 101 was a step up from that. And this is a massive leap in upgrades over even the 101's Blu-ray that I own right now. And I will tell you, I was amazed at the amount of restoration work that was done on this film. Wonderful job. What an excellent release. It gets a 9.4 review score, must buy you need to have in your collection. And I do recommend experiencing this film. If you like sci-fis that make you think and have unique elements, give this film a watch, but you must watch it twice. Don't watch it once and then say, well, it was a little weird, a little out there. You've got to watch it twice. So that way you get all the different elements. It's a multi-layered sci-fi experience that is highly underrated. And I very much enjoy this film and I highly recommend this. This is a must buy. If you want to buy and add this to your collection, I put that link right down there below. Now, if you want some recommendations of some amazing must own 90s films that you really need to have in your collection, I just recently did part one of my must own top 90s films on 4K Ultra HD video. Now that's a video series where I dive into the top releases from that decade that are amazing must own 4Ks that everyone needs to have in their collection. That is one of those video series that has been hugely popular. People always look forward to when I dive into and test all those. It's got 
dozens upon dozens of amazing 4K releases that if you don't own, you need to have them in your collection. That's available right now, part one. Part two I'm working on right now, and that'll be coming out here soon in the next couple of weeks. That way you get some amazing recommendations of films that you probably don't have some of them in your collection, but you need to have all of them because not a single one of those is one you want to miss out on. Next up we have Christopher Walken's The Prophecy 1, 2, and 3. This is the trilogy and the films ran from 1995, 1998, and 2000. The original film was in theaters and then the other two sequels were direct to video, which was a big thing in like the 90s. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of really great direct-to-video movies. This series is one of those that has a massive cult following, though I will say the previous Blu-ray releases of this have always been extremely poor. The previous Blu-ray releases, as you're noticing up above, had strong black crush. We're talking, and I guess you could call it gray, 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 dark, dark gray, black crush. But it's very bad in a lot of scenes where on the Blu-ray, you really just can't see much in a lot of scenes because there is a lot of very dark scenes throughout the series. And then it'll go to a really bright, like almost like sear your eyeballs bright, um, which on this 4K release look really stellar. For each and every one of the films, they got brand new 4K restorations of the 35 millimeter interpositives with brand new HDR10 masters. And that's where I can say it makes a massive difference on this versus the previous Blu-rays because the lights to darks on this are very evident. You get inky blacks, brilliant whites, but all of the black crush that was on the previous Blu-ray releases, all those transfers of the films, that black crush is completely gone. You could actually now see things in the image, in those dark scenes that you never ever saw in the gray black crush from the previous Blu-ray transfers that's gone. They did an amazing job with the HDR10 implementation that really brings it to life with brilliant whites, inky blacks, but again, it just never goes into that black crush area so you can see everything. Just remember in those scenes, if you've never seen the previous Blu-rays, there are dark scenes in it intentionally and very bright scenes intentionally. That's something that has always existed. It's just on the Blu-rays, it was black crush in those dark scenes. Whereas on these, you can actually see in the dark scenes for once, which is a very nice improvement. Each of the films in this is a native 4K 2160p. Each one of the films in here is very filmic looking, has the natural film grain present in it, though I will say there are inconsistencies and fluctuations in the film grain. They're not horrible, but in each of the films, because there's three films in this box set, they each did suffer in certain scenes to having some fluctuations in that film grain. But again, nothing too distracting that took you out of the film or you felt like all of a sudden it was horrible to watch. They're just slight inconsistencies. Annihilating in every way the previous Blu-ray that a lot of the film grain was gone. There's so many scenes in it that are just completely soft. You can't see anything. So very nice improvement in a lot of areas that really is a very enjoyable viewing experience for each film. That I'm kind of surprised for the direct-to-TV movies that we got two and three because one was the one that I thought they'll put that one out because that's a theatrical. It's a very exciting thing that they went back and actually released the trilogy in a box set. That's something I really didn't expect. Now another big improvement we got in this is there is nice depth and detail in the image that was never present on the Blu-rays as well as the new color grading with nice lifelike skin tones. The colors are very nice they're very improved over the previous Blu-ray that had a very dull and muted color palette. This is very lifelike and natural looking. Now there are some scenes like where it goes to hell and things like that where it's very fire and vibrant and literally it looks like it's gonna sear your eyeballs off. The HDR10 implementation on this is great. Whereas the Blu-ray was very dull when it went to you know hell and things like that. Just, just overall a dull picture. This looks phenomenal and the colors just really come off the screen and you feel like it's just coming at you really enjoyed that element of it and I really feel like they implemented the HDR10 great on this. Now for the audio we do get English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and 2.0 audio mixes for all three of the films in this box set. I can tell you each and every one of the audio mixes my preferred is the English 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio. That's the one I really enjoyed. It's very clean. It's very clear. I could hear everything. There were some very brief and very slight distortions that I didn't think took away from it, but they're just so brief. You'll notice it very briefly, like just kind of a slight almost hiccup, and then it's gone in the first film. And then I didn't notice it anymore between two or three. It was just very brief. But I will say, 
Overall, a very nice audio mix that's very enjoyable and lends to the nice upgrade you're getting in this 4K release. Now, showing what you get in this, you do get this nice outside artwork. It does say the Prophecy 1, 2, and 3 in Paramount's logo. Now, it does have Miramax and Paramount's logos on it because those are who worked on the films. Talks about all the restoration, the massive amount of special features you get in this. You get Blu-rays for each of them as well, which has a bunch of special features on it as well. I'm not going to dive into those because I would have to make a whole video just about the special features. But let me tell you this. If there's a single special feature you wanted, audio commentary, behind the scenes, talking about the film, storyboards, anything like that, it's included in this set. That's how elaborate the special features are on this. Now, when you get inside, you do get your 4K Ultra HD disc. Now, this is 100% region free. All the 4K discs in this set are 100% region free. So you won't have any issues playing them anywhere worldwide. Now, for the prophecy on the single disc, you do get a BD66 and it just has one film on it. So it does have a high rough average bitrate that I'll get to here in just a minute. But I will say this one is the only one on its separate disc. Then you get on the other 4K disc, you get two films included on one BD100. So they went to a larger disc to give you plenty of room for the other two movies, but they do just have a slightly lower rough average bitrate. Overall though, the depth and detail in this is very surprising because like I said, I never thought we'd see those two direct-to-video films on a 4K disc. So really cool what they did providing this as a trilogy, not leaving those films out because it is one of those really creepy and dark Christopher Walken like horror films that it is one of those things I just never really thought about seeing it on 4K. I will tell you what I'm hoping now that they're doing some Miramax ones, I would really love to get the Mimic trilogy and I'm hoping that's one that they're looking at that would fit really good with Vinegar Syndrome's catalog is the Mimic trilogy with a 4K restoration. Really hoping that one's one they're gonna be working on here soon. Another one would be The Phantoms. That one had like Ben Affleck in it and a bunch of cast from the 90s. Really enjoyable film. I would love to see that one get a 4K restoration as well. Now you do get reversible artwork on this as well. Again, they didn't really skip any of these releases with the reversible artwork and I really enjoyable having those options that you can switch it around. Now, diving into the rough average bit right For the first film, you get a high, healthy, and strong 74 megabits per second. As I said, that's the strongest one visual presentation wise and rough average bitrate of all three films in the box set. Now, the other two films, those ones range between 61 to 64 megabits per second for each of those films. And they're healthy and I will say it's enjoyable and it's very surprising for a direct to video, like I said, how nice of a presentation we really got for each of the films in this. And like I said, it's an exciting thing seeing Miramax films coming out on 4K releases. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Vinegar Syndrome does for the next Miramax titles. Comment down below and let me know some hidden Miramax, kind of like horror 90s films. What types of Miramax films you hope they would do 4K restorations? Like I said, I want Phantoms and I would love the Mimic trilogy in a box set like this. Ooh, that would be great. Comment down below and let me know some of the ones you'd be excited for that you hope they do 4K restorations of. Now getting to my review score for the Prophecy trilogy on 4K Ultra HD, this gets a very good 9.0. It's a must buy you'll want to have in your collection. The 9.0 tells you visual and audio quality what you're looking at. As I said, the second two films aren't as good looking as the first one, but they're just slightly less. It's still a very good 4K release and that's where it gets a 9.0. It's a must buy, one of those that if you enjoy the films, if you like the first one, getting the other two in this is a real bonus. It's a great release, very good job with the restoration. Very surprised with what we got out of this. It was one that really did surprise me we even got it all. So very good job, 9.0 review score for this. If you're wanting to buy this, I put that direct link down there below. Next up, we have Daryl from 1985. Now, before we dive into all my testing data and results on this, I do want to talk about this film because it is highly unseen, underrated, and the majority of people just don't really know about it. It's important to understand about this film. I love this film. It is a great 80s film. If you have seen like The Boy Who Could Fly, if you've seen The Last Starfighter, if you've seen Starman, if you've seen Flight of the Navigator, or if you've seen The Never Ending Story, all classic, enjoyable action, adventure, sci-fi fantasies, you will enjoy this film. And I wanted to make sure you understood that because I feel like it's severely underrated and I feel like there's not many people I know 
that saw this film back in the 80s, but it has a great story, a very enjoyable soundtrack, and audio is just really good on it. It has some great themes behind it. The story is very heart touching, and that's where I feel like, like those films like The Never Ending Story and Flight of the Navigator, they really touch your hearts and have a great feeling for 80s films. It's a family kids film from the 80s that's an action adventure mixture with sci-fi fantasy and it's good. I can tell you it's one of those that fits right in line with little elements of all of those other films. I was amazed at how much I enjoyed this film going back and watching it again. Now I can tell you this has had a previous Blu-ray release only in some brief other territories. In the US we didn't have a natural Blu-ray release, you would have had to import it from another country. So for that reason, I'm going to focus here on the 4K release. Now, Daryl is a native 4K, and it was created from a brand new 4K restoration of the original camera negative, and it got a brand new HDR10 master. And let me tell you, it's a beautiful 80s film on 4K. Even compared to the Blu-rays I've owned that I did import from other countries that were region locked to region B, this one blows them away. It is a beautiful looking, the colors, and because it was a family film, they just filmed things in the 80s with very warm tones and the glow and the beautiful colors of the clothing and everything else shine through beautifully and it has very nice depth and detail. The film grain is present from beginning to end. They didn't DNR take it away at all. Though I will say there is some waves and fluctuations that are especially noticeable. At the beginning car chase that opens the film up, You'll notice some slight like vibrations and waves across the screen with the film grain. Um, they're brief, they're not too long, and then they go away and they're not present through the rest of the film. That would be from the scan and restoration when they're scanning it. Basically some things were in the film that caused the film grain to have some waves across it that causes that little bit of anomalies that you'll notice at the beginning of the film. Thankfully though, they're only at the beginning and then they're gone and it's a very nice and enjoyable presentation. That severely surprised me that we got this on 4K because as I said, Daryl's one of those cult classic sci-fi films that there is not many people that watch films from the 80s that really remember this film. I've always loved it as a kid. I always rented it and watched it over and over again. And I really connected with the character and I don't wanna to give too much away if you haven't seen it because there's some elements of it that I thought were really fun. It's kind of fun to go into this just knowing it's about a kid that basically gets lost in the woods and people find him and then he goes with a family and it's exploring and finding out what he is, where he came from, and I don't want to give it all away. Fun thing about it when I saw it in the 80s was I didn't know anything about it. I'd never seen the trailer and I remember going to see it with my parents and we walked into it, watched the film, and it was kind of one of those things that I was like, wow, I didn't expect that and they didn't either. And that's where I feel like this film excels is if you don't know too much about it, You'll really be surprised how the story opens up and then it surprises you how big of a sci-fi element it really has. It's a great film and it's a great 80s film. Now for the audio on this, we get an English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0. It's very crisp, clean, and clear sounding. It's a very nicely enjoyable audio mix. Just don't expect it to be like a 5.1. Now showing what you get in this, you get this really nice cover artwork. I really like what they did with this. I love the colors on it. Very harkens back to the 80s, and I love the 80s. As most of you know, if you followed me here on my channel, I've done previously the top 80s movies on 4K. Those are must-own releases on 4K. If you haven't checked out that video in that series, that's another one in those top series that I do by decades, kind of talking about 80s films and really great 80s films. Now, this obviously wasn't out at that time, but I do do follow-ups, so I will be having a part two to my top 80s films coming out later on. This is one of those though that really did surprise me how really enjoyable of a film it is and how amazing of a 4K restoration they did. Love this cover artwork. Side it has Daryl on it as well. Talks about the film and the restoration. You do get a Blu-ray disc that has all the special features on it. There's a massive amount of them that were never included on any of the previous Blu-rays I said that were released in other countries. There's tons of them on here. This really was the definitive version of Daryl. Now, inside here, you get really cool artwork. I love the explosion and then obviously Daryl here. I like the cover artwork that basically they did on these. I like how they're all different and it's not just bland artwork. They really spend time showing love and care to us collectors and film fans by putting really cool cover artwork on each of their Vinegar Syndrome releases. I really like those and think those are stellar. 4K discs, 100% region free, you won't have any issues playing it anywhere. Now you do get reversible cover artwork. Again, I love this artwork. I couldn't decide which I liked better. I love the purple, fuchsia, blue, yellow look of it. 
Really love those colors. As you know, if you watch my channel for a while, I love the 80s color themes and everything like that. Heck, I still wear colors like that. I live in the 80s and 90s. I mean, that's just really where the best movies came from, in my opinion. But as far as this one goes, I really like the secondary cover artwork as well. And let me know which cover artwork you actually like better. I'm kind of curious. Do you have a favorite or do you love them both the same? But I did dive into the rough average bitrate and tested that out for all of you. And I can tell you I have some good news. It has an extremely high, extremely strong, and healthy rough average bitrate of 84 megabits per second. What a stellar job they did with the rough average bitrate image. And again, I really would have loved a Dolby Atmos mix or a new 5.1 mix, but the 2.0 is still clean, crisp, clear, and easy to hear. Getting to my review score. For Daryl on 4K Ultra HD, this gets a superb 9.2. It is a must buy. You need to buy and add to your collection and take a recommendation from me. If you've enjoyed any of those films I talked about, anything like that from the 80s, you will really enjoy and love this film. So I highly recommend checking out this film on this 4K Ultra HD release. Give it a chance. Buy it through that link I sent down below. You will thank me later on saying, wow, you just discovered a wonderful 80s gem of a family sci-fi film. You can sit down and watch this with the whole family, just like with Flight of the Navigator. I love that film. And you'll sit there and say, man, I really enjoyed this. What a great restoration. And it's a film you'll go back to year after year and you will enjoy time after time. It is one of those underrated and unknown 80s gems. And let me tell you, they just don't make films as good as this anymore. I really love films like this and I love that Vinegar Syndrome did such a superb job with the 4K restoration. It's a 9.2, a must buy you need to have in your 4K collection. And this 4K is the way to experience it. Let me tell you, you will enjoy this immensely. If you decide you're going to buy this now and give this a chance, I put that direct Amazon sale link as a pinned comment in the comment section right below. Next up, we have John Woo's Silent Night. Now this is the Blu-ray version. There is a 4K, but it's very limited and sold out and I wasn't able to get it because Lionsgate said they were completely out of it and didn't send it out for review. They sent me the Blu-ray. I can tell you the Blu-ray though does have English Dolby Atmos on it and the English Dolby Atmos is very enjoyable. I'm not going to say it's the best English Dolby Atmos I've ever heard, but I will say it's up there with a really great action Dolby Atmos mix. You hear things going overhead and around you. It has some good LFE. Overall, film-wise though, I personally think it's a weaker of John Woo's films. I really enjoyed his face-off. If you haven't checked out that review on this channel, that's one of my favorite John Woo films. I love the Mission Impossible he did as well, which I recently talked about in my top 90s films, but as far as his actual like 90s face-off is absolutely wonderful. I love that one. John Travolta, Nicolas Cage, the action is over the top. This does not live up to it. It's enjoyable. I recommend checking it out because it was nice to bring John Woo, an action director from the past back to create a film and it's enjoyable. I had a fun time. Now I do wish the 4K was released everywhere. I don't like these limited where they're only at certain areas or very low print 4Ks. And that's what happened with this one. It seems like Silent Night had a very limited run and then it's gone and can't get it at all. So the Blu-ray is available right now. I'll put that link down there below if you're looking for an action film that, like I said, it's got some nods back to John Woo's previous stuff. It's just not a perfect film. Now it's important, if any of these you're gonna buy or add to your collection now, make sure to use those direct Amazon sale links I posted down below. As always, that's important because it's the only way I can continue to create all of this exclusive comparison reviews, this testing and analysis that all of you enjoy watching every week. I can only do it with you, my viewers and subscribers support through using those direct Amazon sale links down there below and joining my collector's VIP club. My collector's VIP club only costs you a couple of bucks every month, but it goes back into the creation of these videos, the software, the time, the analysis, and the testing I do. It's all very time consuming and expensive. So for me to be able to continue doing this for many years to come, make sure to support these videos by using those direct Amazon sale links down there below that never cost you anything extra and joining my collector's VIP club. It's very important. I do want to say thank you, huge shout out and thank you to every single one of you that have used my Amazon sale links and joined my collector's VIP club. 
All of you are truly amazing. I do really appreciate every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And I love sharing the love of filmmaking and these 4K restorations and Blu-ray releases and Blu-ray TV series with all of you every single week. I hope my love and passion for physical media comes through in every video I create. I put my heart and soul into every single one of these for all of you every single week. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. As always, I truly hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.